Hi everyone! So in this video I will continue working on the fuselage, I will glue everything together and also work on the vertical stabilizer, finish the structure inside and finish everything. Uh, so let's get to work. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build your own website and run your business. All right, so here's the main landing gear base or mount. Uh, this is for the one inside the fuselage. Of course, the A380 has four main landing gear, which is a total of 20 wheels. I'm really happy with this. This looks really good. I mean, uh, it's not so heavy and it doesn't require any uh, reinforcement with uh, carbon or whatever. It's really strong wood and it will be more than enough. All right, so it's the time to glue those two bits together. All right, it's glued together finally. I used two layers of fiberglass here, uh, all the way and also on the top there. And uh, I will also reinforce it some somehow here and there on those bulkheads. And I did not glue that yet. The gear base, I will add some epoxy later there. And of course, I always add bead ply at the end so I can remove it later and I will have a better surface to bond with anything if I wanna glue anything on this area later. All right, next, the nose.
Okay, so here is the nose gear mount is already glued and reinforced with carbon. I cut the doors already, installed the hinges, installed the servos. And I thought this uh, this way is much better to install all the stuff inside before I close it because it would be so hard uh, to install all this uh, stuff uh, while the nose closed, you know, uh, like this, I would say it makes more sense. And so these two servos are for the main big doors. And those, there are two tiny doors in here. Uh, there's just a spring in here, which will bring them back in. And now I don't have the retract yet. So hopefully the retract will open this while the gear is retracting or going down, it will open it. And then when it goes up, the springs will uh, bring the things back in. And so hopefully this will work. Uh, I'll find out uh, later, of course, when I install the retract. So finger crossed that this will work. But anyways, uh, it's it's ready now. I will now mix some epoxy and put the other side, glue it, and yeah, hope for the best. All right. Before we continue with the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. I always thought that making a website uh, is very expensive and you need to find web designers and all this stuff to do all the work for you until I found Squarespace. Squarespace makes it super easy for you to create a modern and a professional website. They have the best designs and features in the market with great looking templates that makes your website look professional. You don't need to start from scratch, you can simply choose one of their templates and work on it and adjust it to your needs. If you run into any difficulties, Squarespace has you covered with their 24-7 customer support. You can also find step-by-step -step video tutorials of how to build your website and after that, Squarespace will maintain all the updates and maintenance for you. So it couldn't be easy. You can get a free trial and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash RamiRC to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. And by supporting my sponsors, you will be also supporting this channel. So thank you so much for that. And now let's get back to work. All right, here's the nose and it's absolutely perfect. It worked really well. And by gluing the two sections together, it becomes really a strong one piece. And I'm so happy with that. And of course, here's the main fuselage. It's super light and those bulk heads gave it super strength. And I'm so happy with that. And the main gear uh, mount is also glued there. Uh, really good. Of course, I have to sand all that later. Also the nose here, this joint. And then I will spray the whole uh, thing with primer. And uh, yeah, so the next would be to start on the tail. The tail is the most complicated part because it's really long and there at the end of the tail tip, it will be a bit hard for me to glue it, but it must be done. So let's uh, work on that.
all right i'm almost done in here uh, this is for the servo and i will be using this servo it's from jetty the dshv this is 18.5 kilograms torque uh, which is really good and i will be mounting that uh, like so in here and so i will cut a hatch later on the top side of the stabilizer a small hatch in here where i can remove it and you know do some adjustment if or if i want to remove the whole servo i can just remove it those two plates for mounting carbon fiber it's really good and uh, of course i had to align the tubes that they, they should be like the stabilizer must be really straight so i used the laser in there and aligned all that now it's perfect and i just put uh, two drops of glue in here just to make sure that they, they don't move anymore and so now i can go ahead and glue them with epoxy all these outer tubes in here and i could also cut these in here i removed them to save some weight because i don't need them this would be the main spar and because it's connected all the way down here so it's strong enough i don't need any reinforcement uh, for that and the second tube is simply just for alignment and you know some uh, strength but mostly for alignment and yeah these two pieces of wood these are, are going to be the locks two screws when i install the the stabilizer two screws in here and i will add a third screw in here that goes down and uh, secure the stabilizer in place and so now i will mix some epoxy and glue all the outer tubes in here uh, install the hinges here I need to do some cuts install the hinges the carbon fiber hinges and then I can cover that and cover the tail as well
All right, I got the CR6 Max from Creality. This is their newest printer. And uh, I, I mean, obviously I've been using Creality printers since I started and I've got actually some printers. This is the CR10 S5, which is the biggest. And I've also got the CR10 Max in there. And these are the old, this was there. This is the CR10, uh, the original CR10, which is still works and it's amazing. Still works until now. And there I've got the CR10 version 2, which is also a very lovely printer. And this one is obviously the newest from Creality. And it's got touch screen, very responsive touch screen, really lovely. Print volume in this one is 400 by 400 by 400. And it's got the auto leveling feature in it, which works really good. And obviously it's super quiet. Uh, you only hear the fans from the power supply and that's it. I love this thing about it, it's so quiet. And of course I did some print tests on this one. First print was successful. I'm so happy with that, it doesn't happen all the time. And I did some comparison as well regarding the print quality between this and these ones there. And this one did so good. Print quality is really amazing. And to be honest with you guys, I am so grateful that Creality makes such printers, affordable printers, not because they send me this one for free, but I've been using Creality for years already and I bought this myself or this for myself. I am recommending Creality because they are affordable and uh, without them I wouldn't be able to have such big printers uh, to print such parts like this and if you want to buy a printer with this size uh, I will cost you thousands of dollars but this one I got it for like 800 and of course there are some struggles as the usual with every 3D printer but after tuning it and uh, upgrading stuff it works really good now and I'm so grateful for that. Alright, so I have a problem here. I will abandon this type of hinge, which is these carbon hinges. Uh, it did not really align and the rudder is not moving freely. And so I will, I even had to unglue this. I made a mess. So I will simply cut these, throw these and buy those, I think seven or eight centimeters hinges, plastic. Uh, I'll remove these, glue these in, close the rudder itself and then just glue it like this it worked with every other airplane but i thought i'll try this here but i don't like it so i will just use uh, just simple hinges and do that but that will be in the next video enough for this one all right i think enough for this video i will continue on the rudder uh, change those hinges and finish it 
and then I will start sanding the fuselage and preparing everything for the primer and all this stuff and then I will start working on the wings now the wings are the most complicated on this airplane but I uh, already started uh, designing I've done good so far and I'll show you all that in the next video and so next video that means it will be about half the fuselage and the rest will be about designing the wings so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video